For today's video, I wanted to show my week of outfits every day, Monday through Friday, just kind of explain what the weather was like, and in addition, what I decided to wear that day. And this is also an integrated video with Everlane, so every outfit has something from Everlane in it. You can definitely use all the links below for where to find each one of these pieces or similar items. Some of the pieces that I wear frequently might be from like last season, and I still have them in circulation. So let's get started with Monday. Monday was the first taste we had of beautiful almost fall like weather so I decided to kind of play with that in this outfit I have a trench I just did a video on some trenches and like how to wear a trench that I can link you guys to but for today's look I wanted to be able to style it with something extremely comfortable so I've got underneath the trench an Everlane v-neck sweater and this was a beautiful cozy thing to wear that made a lot of sense for indoors and outdoors I love the texture that's on this sweater because it's like a stitch pattern. It's very oversized, so I like to be able to tuck in the front a little bit. For the pants that I'm wearing, I have Elizabeth Suzanne Silk Florence pants. They're a wide leg, and it's just really nice to be able to have something that shows just a little bit underneath the trench. For accessories with this outfit, I wanted to bring out that black from the pants into the rest of the outfit. So I'm wearing a Polen black bag. It has a beautiful chain that really matches all of my jewelry. I think that going a little bit extra on the jewelry with this outfit was a very chic thing to do. And then also for the shoes, I wanted to wear my black Mariellas, which I really reserve for colder months. They are not weather resistant necessarily, and it was a little bit rainy that day, but it was nice to be able to wear them just if I can not walk through puddles, I think I'm fine. For Tuesday, it was another taste of that beautiful fall weather. It was cloudy. It even was a little bit drizzly that day too, and it was like in the 70s. So I wanted to be able to wear something over top, which was a leather jacket. It's vintage leather. I got this one last year, and it was just so much fun to be able to pull this one out of storage again. Underneath, I'm just styling it with a white tee, and that adds contrast there. So it's a really beautiful look. Also, because the jacket is cropped, I'm gonna to wear some high-waisted jeans that really shows off with the jacket combo. So these are Jesse Cam dark blue denims and it's nice too because they're rangers so they're not like the wide leg sailors. They just have a very beautiful skinny look to them. The t-shirt was another Everlane piece. It's one that I've had in my closet for quite a while. I like to have a fitted tee with an outfit like this. It's nice to be able to not have too much bulk underneath a leather jacket. Also it's nice to be able to just tuck into my pants and it's just a very flattering look in this whole way. For the statement piece with this outfit, I love this hat that I have from Matches Fashion. This was an outfit that I felt could use even more of an edge. I wanted to see how far I could take it, and so with the combination of the leather jacket and then also the hat, it's just a very fun outfit to wear, and it really made sense for the weather that day as well, since it was like drizzly and not necessarily downpouring. And then just so that the tan hat didn't look out of place, I ended up wearing some tan boots with this as well as a tan small bag that I always have from Palen. On Wednesday, it was starting to get warmer out and it was sunny and it really carried through that same weather throughout the rest of the week. So I wanted to find outfits that were comfortable indoors when I'm working inside and then also if I'm outside, I wanna make sure that I'm not like baking in what I'm wearing. So a linen top made a lot of sense. This is the Everlane Indigo Linen Relaxed shirt underneath that. I've just got a tank top that I also have from Everlane. This is a ribbed tank, and so again, it's form-fitting underneath. And just having that there was allowing me to make this shirt even more relaxed fitting by unbuttoning it and just letting the white shine underneath. I had a lot of fun too, finding different ways that I wanted to tuck in this top. Having loose silk pants on bottom allows me to be able to tuck in wherever I want to with a shirt like this, and it still feels really comfortable. So this whole outfit has tones of blue, blue and navy, so it made sense to wear my day gloves. These are actually a navy tone in suede. It really brought out the beautiful navy that was in the pants too. I felt like wearing both, even though they're from different companies, it really went together very well. And I just like the idea of wearing this navy with the indigo, and the whole outfit just came together. It's a fun way to wear blue where it's not just denim. With each one of these outfits, I'm accessorizing with extra jewelry, and then also I've just got that small tan pullen bag again. 
For Thursday's outfit, it was another beautiful sunny day, but still indoors a lot. So I wore a navy outfit from top to bottom, and I just love the way that the pants and the top matched so effortlessly, not only in their color, but in their buttons too. It was just one of those pleasant surprises. I love this Henley. I know right now that they're not for sale, but I'm hoping that they restock soon because I just love the fit of a Henley. Not only does a Henley accentuate the top with the shoulders and the buttons and everything and de-emphasizes your stomach area, but then I'm tucking them into these high-waisted pants that just carries that tone from my shoulders all the way down to my ankle. And I wanted to accessorize with light beige items. So I went with this hat by Gigi Pip. This is a very light ivory hat, which was a beautiful contrast to the dark navy. And then also I have an Everlane mini tote and that's been so much fun to carry around with me if I'm running errands. And then for shoes, I went with my Everlane sandals and yet it's beautiful because it's still a heel so it's giving me height where I want it. What I'm wearing today is an Everlane poplin top. I like the relaxed fit of it and then also it was neat to be able to experiment with the blue stripe and that's a very different vibe than just having a white basic one. To keep it a little bit more casual and still fitted, you guys know I like to pair loose tops with tight pants usually and so I'm working with my stretch denim by Everlane and then I'm also just keeping it simple with my Nisolo Paloma mules. They are a chunkier shoe than what I would normally opt for with a heel. That not only gives me more stability but it just makes an outfit that has more weight on top like a relaxed top would and just brings more proportion all the way down to my toe. And then again just using that small tan bag. I tend to wear this more often than not just because it's small, it's easy to carry around, and it doesn't overwhelm the outfit that I want to wear. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. Thanks so much Everlane for working with me again on this. So much fun to be able to bring you guys a brand that I love, that you guys love. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Gonna lift it up, Ever's got me down. Gonna lift it up, Ever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. Whatever's got me down. Living inside my head, fortress of doubt.